driving through Sac City, that's S-A-C, Sac City, Iowa. We're on Main Street and have stopped to see this world's largest popcorn ball. Let's check it out. Okay, they have it in a glass, in case in a glass building, well, building with windows so you can see it. If you can see it for the reflection. Oh, that's not bad, the way the sun's not real bright today. That is it up there, largest popcorn ball. Almost like a bowl of popcorn. And there's a guest book here, so Marissa is signing this in. Here. What's today? It's 20th, right? Today is the 20th of August, 2023. We should have brought an ink pen. No, it It'll work. This ain't that old. Uh, 2016, I mean, it's older popcorn than I would eat, but uh, it hasn't been here that long. Kind of get people stopping the town. At the world's largest popcorn ball. I don't know about those statistics. Popcorn's not that heavy. I wonder if we're weighing the metal bowl it's in. But uh, 12 foot diameter. Oh, yeah, okay. It's the whole thing. But it's 2,300 pounds of popcorn. So the bowl is a. Uh, what's a big metal container chute there? They got it in. Like a little town back here. Got a drugstore, telephone office. They have a post office, or not real post office, but a building that they call the post office. I wonder if there's any mail in here. Nope. What's that way down there? I still can't read it anyway. It's there. All right, well, let's hit the road. Yeah, these things, like Jackson uh, number seven built in 1933. Somehow these don't seem that old to, m to me, I guess because they're only 19 years older than I am. Uh, so I'm, I like things from the 1800s, a century before I was born. It's cool stuff. Fort Dodge, Iowa. This is the go to van Hilton side of mirror. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but I just come see the mirror. I have to back way up here just to get it all, a uh, good wide angle just to get it all on screen here. It, well, it's a silo. It's big and tall. It needs refreshing paint, but uh, that's cool. Okay, in Pocahontas, Iowa, there's a giant statue of the Indian girl Pocahontas. We're in West Bend, Iowa, visiting the Shrine of the Gato of Redemption. And I just heard some ducks or something. Yeah, we got ducks on the pond here. Beautiful place. We're gonna check it out, see what their mission is. And they have a museum.
Okay, this is as high as it gets safely and high as you're supposed to climb here. Okay, this, oh, this, a lot of stuff looks like petrified wood. I don't know. There's a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of this. Looks like I got a lot of pieces of petrified wood. Other nice, pretty stones. Yeah, so. It's great. A lot of work went into this. You know that, for sure. Okay, for the smaller children, this is nothing but one big playground. Kids are running around here like they're at the McDonald's playground or something other. But different people find different enjoyments. Uh, it's good though, it's fun. It's good to see children having fun. That's what it's all about. Okay, I will enter. I too into life. Into life. Keep the commandments. Here's a the ten commandments grotto. Well, this entire rock, uh, wall looks like it was made of petrified wood here. I don't know whether they were allowed to collect that in the United States or it could have came from a different country. Could not even be petrified wood. I don't know. Looks good though. I mean, it looks really good. It's cool. There's God's angels. There's Eve. And Adam, they appear to be wearing clothes. I wonder if this is when they're being cast out of the Garden of Eden. <laughs>